It's been well over a year now that we've all been hearing the story about the new bridge over the river to the Glebe. We saw the plans, watched the bridge being built, met the soldiers, attended the opening day, crossed the bridge, saw it being used during the summer, saw it underwater in December, saw it being attacked by branches and trees, and even looked at the dip in the handrail. There is no doubt that the bridge has brought a new dimension to Lus and the work of the church. So what about the old bridge? Elspeth remembers crossing over it to go swimming. We've seen pictures of how it was gated at one end to stop the cattle that were kept in the glebe strain through the village. But where did it go? There have been veiled references to the great storms of 93 that washed the bridge away. But let's face it, it was a bridge. A big wood and iron construction. Not some dodgy, dangerous thing made from sticks and held together with string. How do you lose a bridge? There doesn't appear to be even a trace of the bridge left in Lus. So where did it go? Rumour has it that somewhere around here there is a big house with a big garden and in that garden there's a pond and over the pond is a bridge and that bridge bears a striking resemblance to the bridge that was once in Lus and led across to the Glebe. It's Saturday the 10th of February. The skies are almost black. There's a freezing wind and we are being pelted with sleet. Despite all that, we have travelled three miles north along the A82 to get to Inverbeg. We head down to the lockside and sure enough we find a big house with a big garden, and in the garden there's a pond, and the pond is a bridge. But is it the bridge from Lus? We film the bridge from all angles. We look at the handrail, the metalwork, the woodwork, the shape, the size, and then we head for home. And after many minutes spent poring over old photographs from the Heritage Society, we can without doubt confirm that this is a bridge from Lus, and here's the evidence to prove it.